<laughs> you you did go through your time of playing supporting roles and things like that, right? Um, at that point, uh, did you ever despair and think that you would never get a hero's role? Yes, beginning I thought okay, because that time heroes are supposed to be very fair, you know, cheeky, red cheek, cheeks and all. And with my complexion, it was beyond the dreams of thinking. So I thought I'll become a villain. So I built my body. So I'll become a dancing villain. I did. So what do you think it was? Because you're right, until, um, you know, uh, Amitabh Bachchan and you came around, but you more. Um, there was this whole prejudice against dark skin, and there was this whole stereotype that a hero has to be a light-skinned man. Why do you think the tide turned? I think we became a big success. We became the next boy never could make it. It's not that you only have to be look like a prince. Even he looks like a prince, your next door prince. Even he can do it. So we became a success by through dancing, through action, through whatever. So that trained the whole change. Trained. But why weren't there others who were able to do that before you? They didn't want to take the chance, maybe. Maybe okay. I was much more aggressive. Is it that perhaps you believed in yourself a little yes, more? Yes, of course. I believed in my dreams all through. You know, in fact, this is um, something very interesting about Bollywood, which I haven't quite understood. Maybe you can help me understand. The heroines in the Hindi film industry come from across all communities. We've had South Indian girls making it big and dominating the industry. We've had girls from all parts of the country. Why is it that the heroes are primarily North Indian men? Because uh, I think, uh, you know, that's very peculiar. I mean, uh, maybe the language one part I think because uh, of course I speak Hindi there are a lot of Bengali accent maybe some come from south some come from Marathi some from others they always say the, you have a Marathi accent you have a Bengali accent you have a South Indian accent but nobody speaks about you have a Punjabi accent you know that's very isn't it yes so first thing I think is that was the language it came as a barrier and the second is uh, the heroes has to be six feet tall with a good build, which uh, I think North Indian has those advantages. Mm. So we came as tall, well built, but only minus point is our complexions. Mm. So we overcome, uh, I, at least I can talk about it, with, through my dad. I wanted to dance so much that they do not look at my skin. Mm. Say they will not concentrate that he looks dark. They only talk about my dancing, my action, my style of dancing, my salve. So it was very deliberately I tried to push that. And I think that clicked. But isn't it tragic? I mean, you know, your complexion, if you go to Europe or you go to North America, people would consider you a hot guy because of well, uh, your dark skin. And over here in India, you have to dance to divert attention from the color of your skin. How sad is that? Well, uh, the actual, uh, the. It is correctly said there is a tall, dark and handsome. I think it fits us. I know, but you know that tall, dark and handsome is a cliché in Mills and Boone romances, which are Western romances. But frankly, you know, I mean, in English language speaking circles in India, we might say tall, dark and handsome, but we're still looking for tall, fair and handsome heroes exactly. in Hindi films. But as I said, uh, but it has broken, definitely, because uh, I still remember, before it was to be dark skin, as you said, but one point I re did really read it in magazines, they, is the sexy, dusky Bengali Babu. About you. You are a sexy, dusky Bengali Babu, Dada, <laughs> even at the age of 30. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. As far as the dancing goes, though, you have, of course, your Elvis step which you discovered and uh, made it into your trademark. Uh, when you see the little masters on Dance India Dance, little masters, do you see any kid who has come up with something that could be a trademark step, something that is that child's discovery? Well, we ha have not pushed them to do so. I think when they grow up, they will understand it. And one of them will definitely try tomorrow of their own. But right now, they are following whatever their instructor is telling them to do. But they are terrifically talented boys, little ones, terrific, just terrific. There's a little girl who just got injured. I mean, if you have seen that, that she was just 
amazing, my mind blowing. Kushbu, I mean, she got injured. And, you know, that I think at the time it will come, not right now.